Hello viewers, welcome to my channel Picture Fun. Today we are going to learn how to manipulate in Photoshop and how to manipulate such like galaxies and other effects in Photoshop. So let's begin our tutorial. This is our simple image and first we are going to take a new document or new file. So just click on file or you can also press Ctrl N to take a new document then click on new then select the any size this one is my size so you can also take same as like me and make resolution 300 this one is important then press enter or click on create so your new document is ready now we are going to placing some image to make amazing background so first we are going to place the background image so first we just press place such this galaxy so click on rectangle marker tool and select this galaxy image and simply drag and drop this one in your new document resize the image or first we just flipping this image so go to edit select transform and click on flip horizontal and now we resize this one so this one is resized it's it's look quite good now we are going to place some more image such like but first we cut out our model so this is our model and we are going to select this one or cut out this one by using pen tool this one is my favorite tool and this one is very simple to use so just zoom your image by pressing ctrl plus and simply start your selection when you complete your selection just simply zoom out your image by pressing ctrl minus and then right click and go to make selection make feather radiation 0 pixel then press then press ok this one is selected now we are going to duplicate this one in or we are going to place this one in new layer so what we have to do just press ctrl c and v so your model is cut out from your main image and now we are going to add some mountains such like this one so this time we are going with quick selection tool and resize your brush by pressing bracket key and simply take this rock so this one is selected Now we are going to place this one in our new or our document. Just go to this one and simply drag and drop this one. So this one is too big. So just decrease the size of this stone. This one is placed perfectly and we are going to remove this white line so just select this laser tool and simply remove this one and press delete key then go to select and deselect this selection now we are going to place our model so where it is so this is our model and we are going to place this one in our new document resize your model first zoom out your image it's quite faster then simply zoom again zoom zoom in your image and 
then place this one behind the rock so it's look complete original and this time make transform and go to flip horizontal place this one a little bit lower this one is perfectly placed and now we are going to add more stones or more rocks so this one is our rock image and this one is also we take this one first and again duplicate this one and this time make this one little bit smaller and place this one in this area this look amazingly original and also place some more rocks so I think this one is perfect. Go to quick selection tool and select this one. And simply drag and drop this one in your main document. And this one is also fantastic so place this one in your image so now it's look amazingly cool and you can also add more rocks this time we take this one So your raw work is almost done and you can see that the effect has come out so clear and make this one little bit duplicate again one more time and place this one in another portion such like this one is the best portion so simply place this one. Again, duplicate this one, and this time we are going to place this one in another portion. So just edit, go to transform, and flip horizontal. So it's look amazingly cool. Now we are going to adjust the color of these rocks. So click on this one, and you can also go to edit and make this one or you can take a uh, click on adjustment layer and go to color balance and this click on clipping mask and then colorize this one and go to oh sorry go to curves or curves and make this one darker Now we are going to copy this one. Just 
just copy this one or duplicate this one and place in another row do the same thing just create a clipping mask so both are selected and the color is completely changed and do again this one duplicate and this time we place in that portion and do the same thing just select clipping mask so rock is almost colorized and now this one is lift so go again adjustment layer and select color balance and colorize this one first add clipping mask and colorize this one so this one is look amazingly cool and make this one little bit bigger Now we are going to colorize this one or match the color of this one by through by background. So take a blank layer. First we go to adjustment layer, color balance and click on clipping mask and colorize this one. So this one is colorized and go to your blank layer and select go to edit fill and select 50% gray then press ok right click clipping mask and go to blend mode and select overlay and go to dodge tool and simply rub this line to provide amazingly glow And take again blank layer and go to brush and this time we take white color and simply apply this one go to upper portion this time apply this one and go to blend mode and select overlay and this size the brush size so you can see that the lights come out and the effect is look clear and now we are going to colorize these rocks so this one is very easy take a blank layer and go to blend mode or take color such like in this dash portion blue is perfect set this one in overlay and brush resize your brush by using bracket key and simply rub this one sorry first we are going to rub in this one and do the same thing take blank layer and apply this one set it this one overlay and again go to your main pay main rock and take blank layer set this one in overlay and apply this one and also apply in your model so looks it original so where it is the model this one is your model and take blank layer this time make this one overlay and make brush size very lower and colorize this one so and now we are going to colorize this also so what we have to do just take a new layer brush set this one in overlay sorry this one is not done yet clipping mask and apply the color of 
add clipping mask and apply the same. So your work is almost done. Now we are going to match the complete work color. So take adjustment layer, click on adjustment layer, go to color balance and colorize the complete work. And now we are going to merge the complete layer in one layer. So just hold Shift Control Alt plus E. So this one is your layer. You can your complete work is in your layer. This is very helpful when you can adjust the complete work color and balancing the color of the complete work. So just duplicate this one. This is for just a backup and go to filter camera raw and click on fx and decrease this one and go to again your main tone or you can basic area and increase the saturation and increase the sharpness of your work so this one is almost done and increase the highlighted area such like yellow is perfect and in darker portion we adding some kind color then press ok so your work is almost done now we are going to give a final touch so just click on filter nick collection and select camera raw or select color fx pro 4 now select first you select b02 and then increase the strength color uh, this one is perfect and increase the shadow area then press ok now take a blank layer go to edit fill and make fit version gray ok and go to blend mode and select soft layer or you can also select the overlay this soft layer is perfect so the work is done if you like this tutorial please subscribe my channel see you soon with new tutorial goodbye